We're going to do a quick setup video on the DMX wristband controller and the wristbands and how to get those to work in your display. You start by creating a DMX uh, model. Click this. I did floodlight. Um, it seems to work really well. Change the name to whatever you want. I like to label mine as a controller. That way I know it's the controller and not the wristbands. You're going to have two channels. I put mine on my F48, so I put that on the controller. And that's it for the controller. Bracelets, you're going to add that as a single line. And just click anywhere. I put this one in the middle. I think you saw I put my controller off to the side because I don't want it to be in the middle clicking on anything. So I put it off to the side. But the bracelets I want in the middle because... I want them to kind of capture the most effects. Um, so rename it bracelet pixel, number of strings, one, nodes, one, lights, one. That's going on my F48 also. You're going to have three channels on that. And I change the appearance. Uh, I'll change it to 30 actually. Blended circle is what I like to use for it. You can save that. So now you can see you have a flood out there. Next, you're going to go to your controller. Mine's on my F48. Click visualize. Go down to your serial port. That's where mine pl is plugged into, the first serial port. So first, you have to put your DMX controller, which is going to be two channels. Then after that, put your bracelets. So your bracelets are going to actually start on channel three, for that DMX port. Uh, you should be able to confirm that with under serial ports, it says channels five. That should be it for the layout and the setup on your controller. If you, when you go to sequence something now, um, the way that these work is the transmitter only needs to be transmitting to send a new effect or color change. Uh, the best effects are just on, off, or something simple with just a, a slight color change. You don't want to be, they aren't very fast. If you have a whole bunch of color changes within a second, it's going to lag behind and it's not going to keep up. So you, you kind of want to keep it to a minimum uh, change on them. So to do this, when you pull your DMX effect down, it's going to come down and it's going to say zero, 00, channel 1, zero, channel 2, zero. You need to change channel 1 to 85. 85 um, is the one where it tells the bracelets what to do. Channel 2 is which groups to send it to. Zero means all groups. So we're just going to send it to all groups. You just put that for the beginning of the effect, the on, what color, and then you can turn that effect back off. Now the bracelets part of it, you're going to turn that on and I did a color change here. So you need the DMX effect to be on for the effect start for the color change and then again for the uh, turning the effects off or turning the bracelets off. The bracelets will hold whatever it was last assigned. So you can turn that transmitter on, send the white signal out, leave that, and then turn the uh, transmitter back off. You can leave that for all three minutes of a song. And then at the end, tell that transmitter to turn the effect off. And the bracelets, even though the transmitter was only tr transmitting for the beginning of the, in the end, it will the bracelets will stay white the entire time. Uh, I recommend doing this. You don't want to run that DMX effect across the entire song because there has been no interference with these before. So just so that way you don't interfere with any of the other remotes. Um, could be a garage door opener, a key fob, something in your neighborhood. This way you're just sending out little bursts. If someone happens to hit it well and it's interfering, at least it, when they hit it a second time, it'll go through. So. Uh, just do short bursts of that transmitter, only to turn the effect on, change color, turn the effect off. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about it, that's the simplest one I could do. I throw these in my, I throw the pixel in my flood group. Seems to work great. Floods don't do anything crazy. It's just a single pixel, so it works really good. 
and then you just have to go back and tell your transmitter when to turn on and off for it. So hope this helps and uh, hope you guys enjoy.